Hey guys, this is episode 77 of Minecraft Down Under. What are we going to be doing today? Well, we're actually going to be continuing on the main base here. Uh, for the past quite a few episodes now, we've been just nagging out the jobs on the main base, which is good, which is absolutely fantastic. I felt like we, were, we, we weren't really getting anywhere on the main base, but now we've just been, we've been just doing so much to the main base. I'm quite happy. We've got new front door, second level started. We were doing the front gardens last episode. Absolutely fantastic. Got stairways in, everything. I've even been doing a metric butt ton of off-camera work as well. I've actually started on the, the second wing here because the whole point was to actually design and build the first area here of the second floor. And if that turned out quite well, then the plan was is to uh, to replicate this on both wings here. That that was the that was the plan. So I ended up uh, I ended up extending it all the way down. I haven't started on obviously that side there, but I have on this side. So this side is definitely more done than the other. But the corner bit, I wanted to show you guys the corner bit here because uh, I was talking about this when we we're, when we we're building the second level here. Is you know I, I was thinking about putting a pillar in the center here as well because it's such a large gap. But I did not want to destroy the the entrance way to any of these towers because when I have rooms in it later it could be a brewing room it could be could be anything so you know we don't want to destroy that that nice walkway straight into any of the towers here so that, that's the plan was is to you know not not put the not not put the pillar there but it's it just feels a little bit weird it does feel a little bit weird without a, like a a support there because I know for a fact that there is should be nine block gap should be nine block gap between each of the pillars they're perfectly that's why i didn't make this pillar come out a little bit because some people are going to say daddy just move that pillar there then it's going to be too much of a gap here okay so that's sort of a it's not really a problem i think i'm going to get used to not having a pillar there it is okay it shouldn't bother me as much as it actually is but it just feels like it needs that a central support there but that's okay that's okay so that's what it looks like on both sides well completed completed corner now we may have to play around with that lighting the lighting may have to change there guys so yeah the lighting there may have to change now uh, wrapping it around the entire room once done not sure the plan was to take it to here then stop and then have the grand library the problem is having it stop direct there is gonna isn't that gonna look funny yeah i think it's gonna maybe look funny so we might have to continue the second level there right to the back wall we might don't know once we start building this grand library because it's meant to be a big enchanting area grand library you know where you can read books and all that good stuff so th that was the plan for this wing here but i'm not sure just not sure until we get until i get to it really is going to be the thing now i'm not sure also because I, I i feel like changing the center like chain thing in the middle here out to either quartz or polished diorite because the red and the white you, you guys already know they go together quite well and that just might make this entire center just explode like pop it may it might be too overpowering and too much white don't know it might need some green in the center might i don't know but it's definitely definitely the the, the second floor here is framing the middle as you can see so it's giving that frame feeling can you imagine once it comes all the way around it's going to give this Oh, it's going to be absolutely awesome. So, yeah, I've been doing a metric butt ton. I got all that installed. I had to go get some more, uh, um, I had to go get some more nether brick there. I've uh, been mining a little bit too, trying to get uh, supplies up because, you know, doing so much work, you know, you go out, you run out of supplies quite quickly. Now, let's check out the window real quick. I've also put cobblestone in on the side. So I started doing that really repetitive, horrible work. I still got to take out the trees. I know I left stumps there pretty much because I've been shaving off a lot of the oak leaves for the um for the for the paths and the arches that we built out the front last episode and uh, i really trying my best to uh, uh get myself an unbreaking three book for for the shears because yeah we're gonna make some more shears actually that's why i got that's why i got some more because yeah shears they just they get eaten up so quickly when you're shearing um Oak, oak trees oh wow they get sheared up they they get chewed up real quickly so as you can see we got the, we we got this whole section here built last episode these are the arches we put in um i tried to go for something different this is something completely different not not the normal area that i would normally do but holy smokes that sun is going down so we pl i plan on hopefully this episode we can get the pond and all this nice area done the plan is to put a chair in here, uh, to put a pond going long ways, and I've got another idea. So we're going to take some shears, we're going to go out to that, you know, that, remember that mega tiger we found? 
Go out there and get some ferns, you know, some of the greenery from out there. Bring it back. You know how gorgeous that will look around the pond? It should look crazy good. And throw some lily pads in there as well. Oh, that would look absolutely fantastic. So I'm going to jump into bed real quick because that, that, you know, sun's setting and we don't want nasties showing up. And hopefully if we get these ponds done real quick, we can actually start on the stables. That's why I put the, uh, that's why I went and put the, the, um, all the cobblestone in because, you know, we, I wanted to start, I know that I probably have buckets elsewhere, but you know, I'm just, I'm just crafting. We'll, we'll get four, we'll get four buckets. So yeah, I probably have buckets elsewhere. Um, so, yeah, hopefully we can get st started on stables this episode, but we'll see, we'll see. Now, I have been, I have been chanting a lot. I have been going up to the Hobbit Hole and chanting. I've been doing a lot of, uh, uh, level one books, trying to get myself a Unbreaking 3, because you can't just go up and enchant, throw shears into a enchanting table and enchant them. It doesn't work like that. You actually have to enchant books and then once you've got yourself a book, like a silk touch can go technically on shears. So that's there if we ever need it. But I was looking for an unbreaking throw so I could throw it on shears. And Bob's uncle, the shears would last so much more longer. So, but uh yeah not not I haven't been successful. <laughs> well I don't have unbreaking three shears. So I haven't been successful at that. So what we're gonna need we're going to need some of that. We're going to need some glowstone. I don't really have glowstone, so give me a second. We can go get some. That's the best thing about having a trading hall. Yes, we're going to spend some time in here in the future as well. Because the trading hall is not 100%. I've got uh, zombie problems and ankle biters going into the cells. and oh. So we're going to go to this guy here. Hello. And we're going to trade for glowstone. So we don't have to pretty much... We don't have to go out anywhere. So, yeah, I've been unlocking this guy's trade. This guy's new, by the way. This guy is uh, definitely new. So, I've been trading the rotten flesh to get the emeralds. Got bazillion rotten flesh. Also been trading me gold to get emeralds. So, I can get as much emeralds as I ever need. So, all the emeralds are going, it goes in here, which is absolutely fantastic. And uh, rotten flesh, I've been bringing down from the gold farm. Oodles. And oodles are rotten flesh to trade for emeralds. So, we got an infinity supply of... M uh, or we'll better put that back. Holy smoke. Sorry, priest. There we go. Just in case something nasty comes and eats him. <laughs> but yeah, I love having a trading hall. It's just so handy. Don't if we need something, we go down there, trade for it. Don't have to run out to the nether at all. And if his trade's locked, all I would do is just trade with uh, go trade some rotten flesh with him and that will unlock the glowstone again. So I can continuously trade for glowstone. Should I leave a two gap there? Nah, that'll do. So we'll bring this right back. To, yeah, to about there. So that's the long pond I was talking about. We're going to lay glowstone on the floor of this pond, okay? Now, what is this? Is this a roof of a room down in my base? Oh, no. No, no, no. That's part of the old uh, the old water feature that we had here. The old uh, fountain. Holy smokes. I, I thought that was part of, a, part of the roof of, of some room in the main base. Holy smokes. That would have been a disaster, wouldn't it? Because it can't really go down. Um, I don't have a silk touch. It doesn't matter. There we go. So once we fill that up with water, that's going to give give it a nice glow effect at night. But we have to go hunt down some water. So we're going to run through this area here. I'm going to have to find my axe and start get rid of some of these stumps that have been... Yeah. So as you can see, I've also been cut, like marking out exactly how the path is. Now, I've been trying to get everything even. So from the corner of that to the corner of the bush there is 15. From the corner of this to the corner of this is also 15 on the same line. So if we keep going around, we have to keep doing the same thing. Or else, or else it's going to look funny from a distance because it's all odd. So I've been making sure that uh, when marking it all out, it's going to be perfect. We have to fill in some of this little river, by the way, because uh, this will stretch out a little bit further than I anticipated but it doesn't matter it's all good it's all good we'll do that later uh, that's why i put the cobblestone here for this episode just in case we actually started on the stables i had the the platform to start on because yeah that repetitive horrible work um of putting all the cobblestone in all right let's get this water installed and then we're going to run out to that uh, mega tiger do a little bit of exploring see if we can't get some of those shrubs I was talking about and bring them back here. See, I, I plan on getting some of those ferns from the Mega, bringing them back here. Oh, it's going to look absolutely fantastic around this pond. So we'll grab some more buckets back. That's absolutely fine. 
got those brand new shears so we can run out to the mega taiga right now and yeah i plan on putting ferns around it it should look absolutely gorgeous actually we'll do the other side at the same time because i'm sick of doing one side not doing the other realizing i have to come back and do twice the amount of work pretty much so go ahead and put in this side do the same same side so i'm pretty sure we can only get small ferns back from shearing using shears i think I've never got shears from a from a mega tiger before, so this is well got fern, yeah got ferns from a mega tiger before, so this will be the first time. But it should look gorgeous around a pond, absolutely gorgeous. And if we can go to a we can go to a swamp, get some of my get some blue flowers like the uh, the oh crikey now I've forgotten what they're called now. I had it before, I had the name before. Holy smokes. Um, yeah, I've forgotten. I've forgotten. The blue flowers that spawn in swamps should look abs- Orchids. They should look gorgeous around that pond. But first things first, before traveling all the way out to a bloomin' swamp biome, which is like 1,500 blocks away. Well, technically where we're just about to go is 4,000 blocks away. But we're going to the nether. Remind me to put a fast travel portal to the, to the swamp. I think it will be handy. Okay, so I got everything I need, including shears. Let's do this. Let's go. So hopefully we can go get some shrubs back, bring them back. It's, it should be all it should be all good. Okay, so I really haven't got any official tunnel dug yet. Um, this side sh is quite the distance to run, by the way. So you're gonna have to be patient with me. Um, and there is just many many tunnels coming off. This is this is the same tunnel that I was using to try find a ice spiked biome. So I went down a hundred blocks, went left, went right, down another hundred blocks, left, went left, right. Yeah, just kept going and going and going until I found the cold area, and then I went off from there. So I'm not I'm not lucky. I don't have an ice spike just like a hundred blocks from my base. It's kind. I have to go like four thousand blocks from my base. But that's okay. That's okay. That's what this tunnel's for. I'm gonna make it pretty uh later on yeah yeah all right i'll be back shortly guys i gotta do this uh it's yeah it's gonna be a decent run probably i think this is five six hundred blocks long i'm not exactly sure i know every hundred blocks there should be a yeah torches to indicate what way i was going so i didn't get lost yeah yeah they should be all portals in there doesn't matter all right Alrighty then guys, I'm finally at the portal that we need to jump through and the Mega Tiger should be pretty much right in front of us as we jump through the portal. The ice spiked is to the left. Okay, whoa, crikey. Seriously, try ambush me straight outside the, um, the bloomin' freaking portal there. Holy smokes. Okay, so I can... That must be the Mega Tiger. Whoa, is it? Because that... Oh, crikey. I think I've got to turn the bloomin' hell around. Crikey. Just look for the tall trees. It, yeah, it's over here. It has to be. Whoop! Creeper! Creeper, creeper! Dead. Okay, yes, it is in front of us. Fantastic. We can go get some of these shrubs uh, from the tiger here. See, look at those. These. These are the ones I want to take home. Stop it! Don't, I don't even think we need to be in a mega tiger for it. But still, we can still grab these shrubs here. So the oh still got that weird glitchy bug from from Mojang there that turns into the giant flowers. That is weird. You hit the top, nothing. Yeah, you hit the top, nothing. But you hit the bottom, glitch. Really, really weird. So, ouch! I took an arrow to the foot. Fern, yes, fantastic. So we got small ferns. I want the large ferns. So we'll have to bone mill them. That is okay. We'll get a whole handful of these things. These little guys. Um, just take the big ones. Oh, that's grass data, but take the. You can't really take the big ones. We can get some. There's some. Yeah, we'll grab some flowers here. We might put. Oh, we can grab. Grab some of these dead bushes for later on. I don't know. We can use those decoration pieces. There we go. Now we can go absolutely crazy getting these ferns. Just get get as much as we're gonna need. Just tons. And if we ever need mossy stone brick, at least we can come out here. A whole stack. We're just gonna get an exact stack of ferns. And we should be right. I'm not going to... Uh, just... Whoop. A little bit more. A couple more. And then Bob's your uncle. We have an entire stack. Don't need grass. I don't really want grass. You can grow just by, you know, bone milling the ground. You serious? The sun's going down again? I'm going to grab some flowers while I'm here. I can't grab this flower. It's broken. Oh, there we go. Um, I should run back to the portal now. 
All right, yeah, I'm gonna run back to the portal. There, we're gonna grow some of these big and small ferns around the that pond there. I, I don't, why am I grab? I don't know why I'm grabbing all these extra flowers. I really only needed the ferns, which you can come out to a to to one of these forests and grab them. So you look there everywhere. I'm gonna grow some of these around the pond. They should look absolutely gorgeous. I can't wait now. Oh, if I had some lily pads as well, that would look good. Crikey, where's the oh, portals up here? I was gonna say I didn't leave a trail of um. Oh, spider. Back. Um, I didn't leave a trail of torches like I normally do, so I don't get bloomin' lost. Straight through the portal. Crikey, because that that trail of torches goes to the ice spike, so I don't so I know where the bloomin' portal is. All right, time to do that <laughs> long run back now. Holy smokes! Oh, here we go again. But we have an entire stack of ferns. So that's going to be absolutely fantastic. And we can convert this to bone mule. We, that should grow the small ferns into larger ferns. Because I don't think you can shear, you know, large ferns. You just get the small ones back. Oh, well. Doesn't matter. All right. I'll be back shortly, guys. All righty, guys. I am back home. Wow, well, there's the front door. Holy smokes. Pop out the back of the portal. Go all the way blooming around. <laughs> okay. Before we go outside, we need to sleep. It's blooming nighttime still. So, we'll just pop into bed real quick. We'll go put those ferns around the pond. Make some large ones. I probably have some more bone meal somewhere. I don't know how much to grow a large fern will be. Hmm. Not sure. But, we're going to go search the hobbit hole for lily pads and any, if we got any blue orchids as well. So, grab our ferns. And what we'll do is plump them all the way around the pond area. Oh, we still got to get make some big ones. We'll even put a little little bits out here. There we go. And what we'll do is grab our bone meal that we made on the fly. And we'll bone meal some of these guys to the big one. There we go. We'll, we'll just we'll bone meal most of these to the big one. We'll just cut, plant a couple more. There we go. Aha. Don't want to put too much in here. Just, just a couple. There we go. Lovely. All right. Do the same with the other side. I've got way too many ferns, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crikey. Data went nanas with the ferns. There we go. Just plant a few of these bad boys right around the pond. And bone meal, bone meal, bone meal, bone meal, bone meal. Ha! Looking nice. We just need some blue orchids and some lily pads. And then we need to bake the chair. And we may put a little bit more color in it. Depends how well those blue orchids... And, and uh, trust me, I probably have to go to Bloom and Whoop Whoop Land to even get the blue orchids. Damn. I have to go all the way to that to, uh, the, the swamp. Pro probably. Definitely. I have to top up my chicken. Um, I know I'm not going to be lucky. I'm probably going to go right past it too. So... Yeah. Oh, lily pads. That's good. That's definitely good. As if I have any blue orchids laying around. I've been out there before. I'm pretty sure I picked a bunch of them. That's all. We'll grab the lily pads while we're going along as well. That's fine. So we can get we can easily add colours. So we've got poppies and all sorts of stuff if we want to. But I want the blue. You, you guys know me. Blue's my favourite colour. I ain't gonna get that lucky. It's okay. We got we got we definitely got some lily pads. So that's completely fine. Ooh, plenty of oak saplings up here. I'm going to need to chop some down some oak trees too soon. Just remind me, there is plenty of oak up here. And there's a dead axe. Crikey. Alright. Alright, so yeah, we're not going to get that lucky. That is completely fine. But we're going to take some of these lily pads now. Ha oh, ha, oh, my base is just looking absolutely fantastic. Alright, so we're going to go down here. Oh, oh, glowstone. That's right. That's what I had the glowstone for as well. We're going to come up here, come to the center, which technically there is no exact center. We can do a tour right here. Break in here, because I, I, I want them up in the it, where the leaves are. So, I'm going to break these two guys off here and put two glowstone up there. So, it's, it's, it should glow very, very nicely, and it should be centered just like the doorway here. All right, plump, plump, plump. Look at that. Come on. We're designing and building a nice little pond. Beautiful little pond area. A couple on this side as well. And then... Well, it's probably not the same spot, say. We probably put an extra one in here. There we go. An extra one. <laughs> All right. So, now we need that color. It's just starting to get a bit too much green. But it is looking like a pond now. That is the point. It's meant to look like a pond. So, what we need to do 
is I need to unload all this stuff into some junk chests. Grab a boat, and it looks like I'm just about to travel 15 blooming hundred blocks to, uh, out to the swamp to get some blue orchid orchids, so, uh, yeah. I think I'm gonna bring, bring this bed with me. Um, that should do. I'm just gonna unload all this into here for now. I've got some, I've got some, I need an axe, because I'm gonna chop down some, um, dark oak, because there's a dark oak forest nearby. We'll throw all this in here, we'll bring that, oh, out of space, that's okay. Throw all that in. We need to go get some more chicken because I am not going on a trip. Chip. Did I just put my bed away? Oh, dee, jeez, daddy, you blimmin' Fruit Loop. Okay, boats. So I've got plenty of boats here, and I've got a stack of dark oak wood. But I'm going to bring. Um, I'm pretty sure I only got one dark oak sapling. That kind of sucks. So when I'm out there, it looks like I'm going to have to craft an axe because. Oh, bugger. I don't know where I left my axe. I blimmin' don't know where. Okay, that's okay. We got plenty of bows, got bed, got everything. All right. Do I have an axe in one of these chests here? You never know if you don't have a quick squeeze. I'm just checking my some dark oak saplings. Nope. Nope. And nope. Bugger. Oh, wait. Right there. We've got a brand smacking new axe. Fantastic. Well, that's not really brand smacking new, but it's still better than the one we had. So, we got to go downstairs, repair that sucker, so I don't have to craft or enchant another one. We'll just use some diamonds. I'm not going to bother crafting another one. There we go. Throw some of these on here. Get that all three. All repaired up. Throw that back in there. Alright, now we're off to chop some trees down and get some flowers. Um, I just gotta remember, I went to the left, didn't I, to go to... Because it's been a long time since I've been out to the swamp. Really, what episode did I go to that swamp? Uh, blimmin' ages ago. It's been a long time since I've been to that swamp. So, what I have to do... I think it's to the left. It has to be to the left. When, last time I went to the swamp, this here is still here. I know I've got to get rid of, float, rid of floating blocks, but holy smokes, there's just so much <laughs> to do. Okay, so what we'll do is go to the left. It has to be to the left. If I remember, I followed the coastline up the left. Can we just cut right across the sea? That might be handy, but then again, I might get lost. That's a stupid idea, Data. You might go right past the blooming thing. You just don't know. Yeah, that's true. All right, so it looks like I am going... To go to the left. Alright. Here we go. Back off to the swamp biome. Which is... I uh, don't know how. 1500 blocks away. It's, it's going to take a while to get there. And I only got 12 chicken. So hopefully I don't need any more than that. Alrighty then guys. I am back. And I've hit the swamp. There is a swamp over here. And a swamp here. But I can see the, the blue flowers I really, really, really want. in my Around my pond. I can't believe I travelled this far to get a bunch of bloomin' flowers. <laughs> really, this is the swamp that I got slimes of a long time ago, and this is the same swamp that, yeah, no, I got the slimes, and I think I could see a crafting table on top of a tree over there. That's from me. <laughs> Oi, boat, don't go anywhere. Holy smokes. Come on, day, make it day, make it day. Ooh, there we go. Holy smokes. All right, let's just get a, a bunch of them, because uh, I didn't bring bone meal, so just bring a bunch. These are the ones I want around me, blooming pond. This is just going to be absolutely gorgeous. And just in case we're going to make more ponds or anything else in the future, I'll get just a bunch more. I'll just go around and just get a huge bunch of them. You'll probably find crafting tables and chests and, and wood placed random places out here, because I've been out here a uh, long time ago. And I'm going to actually I'm gonna take a bunch of... No, go away, Enderman. I'm going to actually take a bunch of uh, lily pads with me too. So at least I have a stack of both. Neither know I probably would lose them in my chest somewhere anyway. But you never know. Come on, we just found some in the... Hello, little slime. Uh, we just... Are you serious? You having fun in here, you stupid Enderman? Alright, let's try find ourselves um, some more. Because seriously, 16 just... Yeah, just need a little bit more. I think about 20 will do. 20, 30... We'll do, but this one, this section of the swamp is baby. We might have to go to the other section, which is downstream or upstream. Because uh, that's the village over there. I remember the village. There's a village nearby here. I guess not. 
It must be down ways. Seriously, I must have got turned around. Ah, there's the there's the crafty table and cobblestone on top of it. Oh crikey. Oh, I spent some time out here farming slimes. Alright. Okay. I just want to hurry up so I can at least get uh back back to base before my well, yeah, it's probably gonna uh it's gonna take a while. Looks like I've taken all the the rest of them. I really have. I've stripped this whole bloomin' place out. Crikey. Yeah. Oh, there's the other swamp. Well, let's just run over there real quick. And we'll see if we can't, cannot find any on the... Because it goes back to a normal plains, and then it goes to another swamp. So there's two swamps near each other. This is also one I spent a quite a bit of time in. So... If we're lucky, we might find some in here. But, if not, that's okay. 16, what we got now, is fine. It's not like we're going to put 16 flowers around the pond, is it? We're going to probably put 3 or 4 per, po per pond. And that should do. But I do not see any more of these flowers. Literally. None. Zero. Holy smokes. Oh, crikey, that's not good. That's definitely not good. That's okay. That is okay. The amount of travelling we've got done today, just to get this pond perfect, the way I want it, is just ridiculous. Okay. It's obvious that I do not see any more bloomin' flowers. Alright, that's fine. 16 will do us fine. Alright, let's just throw a boat back on the ocean and get out of here. Oh no, we want to go over to the... Remember... I, I wanted to get, holy smokes, I wanted to get some more dark oak wood while I was here, so I'm going to grab another boat out of my inventory, and I'm going to sail over there real quick, grab some, chop down some trees over here, because this is uh, where originally I got the uh, the oak, uh, the oak dark oak from anyway, so I'll go back over here, and plop that bed, oh, I don't have that bed, so i got to be real quick. I can't believe I lost my bed. I'll have to pick it up on the way out. Or unless I left a bed here from last time, I don't know. I see the torches. You can definitely tell I've been cutting down stuff up here. Oh, I got a crafting table out here. Fantastic. Hello, horse. All right, time to chop down some trees. Uh, yes, a crafting table. I guess I'm going to chop down a bunch of trees for the wood. And then I'm going to head on home and we can finish off this pond. Holy smokes, definitely a lot of traveling today, guys, definitely a lot of traveling. Trying to get this pond perfect, really am. Alrighty then, guys, I am back, and we should be almost blooming home. What a trip. I got heaps of woods, I even got some rose bushes, well, yeah, rose bush, and I got some, I just picked up other flowers too that we're going to use in the garden later on, you know, to start, start stockpiling all these different types of flowers and we can do certain beds and stuff later on. But the main thing we're out for is the blue orchid because that's the one I want really badly for my pond. And to be honest, I hit two birds with one stone because, please don't hit me, go away. Um, to be honest, I was uh, looking for dark oak as well for the horse stables because we're going to be using dark, oh, plenty of dark oak in the 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 new horse stables. So I really hit two birds with one stone. So I really had to go out there anyway. It doesn't matter even if I didn't want the blue flower. So that's absolutely fantastic. Um, which I've got a, quite a few stacks of uh, dark oak wood there. So that's fantastic. All right, back home where the floating blocks are. Maybe we should call it OCD land. <laughs> or something, I don't know. Oh, crikey. Oh, it's another job I've got to get done. Alright, okay, let's do this. Let's just quickly run back and um, and we can start putting in the the, the flower. The, well, the flowers, finally. So, which is absolutely fantastic. Go, 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 go. Alright. So... We'll probably use two or three, maybe four per side. Not 100% certain. But. Boom, boom, boom. I, sorry, I love blue. When it comes to blue, absolutely love blue. That's why I wanted, I really, really wanted these around me blooming pond. There we go. And fantastic. See, look at that. That just, it's gorgeous. Around me pond, I absolutely love them. See, it's awesome. That's cool. All right, let's finish. Let's finish this area off real quick. Go in here. 
check what we got in the chest. Um, I need some of these. I need some of these. I need, oh, quartz stairs. We could use quartz stairs. Don't really have any signs because we could use them as arms or just normal things will do absolutely fine. So that's fine. That's fine. Let's get back out there real quick. Oh, crikey. My inventory is starting to be real chockers, isn't it? There we go. I'm going to clean that out later. Okay, so what I want to do is I'm going to bring this out a little bit, make it sort of like an entranceway. That. That's what I want. I want like a little entranceway coming out. See, look, all oh, this is starting to look good. It's it's heaps starting to look good. And we can take out. We can use quartz stairs. We could probably use something different, but we'll make a little bench in here. It's probably three wide. Um, it really needs some signs. I don't have any signs on me. I'm gonna put some signs on there for arms, and we're gonna put a bench in here. Get rid of that. Oh, that's too big. Maybe a single chair will do for this one. And yeah, absolutely lovely. That's fantastic. See, we want to go in there. We have to come around into the, the arch here and just walk around, walk in. We might need a couple other flowers in here. Not sure, but yeah, put, we need arms. It needs arms on the side of the chair, but that's okay. That's okay. Now you get the rough of gift of how I was going with things. It, it's, it's pretty perfect. I absolutely love it. Fantastic. Anyway, guys, we're going to call it here. Thanks for watching episode 77 of Minecraft Down Under, and I'll catch you all later.